I got a question. How do you like paying $4 per gallon for gasoline? This is how 130 years ago, John D. Rockefeller executed a plan to deceive the world. John D. Rockefeller is arguably the most dominating and influential person in American history. He created our modern education and medical systems. But long before that, he made his riches on petroleum, oil, gasoline. A ruthless businessman, he did everything he could to make as much money as he possibly could. Lying, cheating, stealing, it didn't matter. And possibly his greatest lie? Fossil fuels. <laughs> we all remember what we were taught in school. His school. About where fossil fuels came from. Hundreds of millions of years ago, once living things died, were covered by rocks and sediment, and then bingo bongo, presto, whammo, abracadabra, blah, 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 blah. oil. But is this how petroleum is really formed? In 1893, Rockefeller sent his scientists to the Geneva Convention, where they convinced the world of the biogenic formation of petroleum. Biogenic meaning from life. And who was going to question them? He had the media and science in his back pocket. But what would he gain by convincing the world that oil was formed from once living things? Well, if oil is formed by this hundreds of millions of years process, that means what there is in the earth is all there will ever be. We will only be taking from an existing finite source. It's just supply and demand. The more of it there is, the less you charge. The less of it there is, the more you can charge. So Rockefeller used his scientists and the media to create what's called artificial scarcity, which allowed him to charge as much as he wanted for oil. He also knew that he could use propaganda to scare the public that we were going to be running out of oil, an idea they executed perfectly with peak oil. In the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, the media would constantly report that the end of oil was near. The American automobile is dying. The monsters are dying of thirst. The energy crisis is killing them. We probably haven't even begun to grasp it yet as far as the country is concerned. This is our this is a Pearl Harbor again. It's taking this along with the idea that they're going to use that last drop of oil. The word petroleum actually means rock oil. In Latin, the word fossil just means to dig up. Most fossils are found no deeper than about 8,000 feet, and the deepest fossil ever found was 16,000 feet. There are active oil wells right now that are over 40,000 feet deep. How would this happen? Petroleum seems to be some sort of regenerating product of geologic processes. Like we're in Minecraft and there's an infinite fuel source that we have to mine out. If oil is actually a renewable energy being generated in the earth, it's going to be a lot harder to charge an arm and a leg for it. And Rockefeller knew this. You see, the vast majority of our fossil fuels come from the remains of plants and animals that lived around 300 to 400 million years ago. And because it has been accumulating for a long time, initially there was a lot. But because it takes so long to make, we're using it much, much faster than it can possibly be replaced. This means that there is effectively a fixed amount of fuel on Earth and we're using it up. So, yes, fossil fuels are going to run out. What else did Rockefeller stand to gain from this? Well, according to the Bible, the earth is 7,500 years old and dinosaur was made alongside man, largely killed in the flood. So Rockefeller pushing this narrative of hundreds of millions of years and dinosaurs being ancient helped convince generations of people that the biblical historical account wasn't accurate. So his lie pushed deep time, attacked the validity of the Bible, and allowed him to charge exponentially more for his product. A win-win-win. Ah, for the trifecta. However, if we just would have listened to the Bible, we would have known that Rockefeller was full of Yes, yeah. His lie is refuted by the Bible. Genesis chapter 6, verse 14. Make yourself an ark of cypress wood. Make rooms in it and coat it with pitch inside and out. Pitch was a black tar-like substance that was used for waterproofing, likely petroleum. A combo of bitumen and rosin. One comes out of the ground near oil seeps and the other one comes out of trees. So before the flood, Noah had petroleum. So the idea that petroleum was formed in the flood is out. Coal, likely, but not petroleum. And then in Job chapter 40, verse 15, look at Bohemoth, which I made along with you. 
which feeds on grass like an ox, what strength it has in its loins, what power in the muscles of its belly. Its tail sways like a cedar. It ranks first among the works of God, and God is very specific. Look at Bohemoth, which I made along with you. Dinosaurs and man walked together. There was no prehistory. There's pre-flood, but not hundreds of millions of years. And Rockefeller helped push this lie. The Sinclair Oil Company used the dinosaur for its fossil fuel logo, and children for generations believed that the gasoline being put in their car was dead dinosaur brains or whatever. <laughs> the Bible refutes John Rockefeller's lie, a biblically minimalist, secular lie, in order to enslave people. Nothing new, this is what they've always done. Convince you that the God of the Bible isn't the author of this reality. Sell you some substitute version and laugh all the way to the bank that they created. It's always going to work. As you can see, the price of unleaded tonight is 73.9. That's high enough for any of us who can remember when premium was 27.9. But 73.9 is not as high as it's going to go. Doing what they can to cope with the skyrocketing prices. But I can't afford that, so I'm going for the regular unleaded. Short of boycotting, these consumers say shopping around is about their only choice. We're in an energy crisis now and will be for some time to come. We cannot produce as much as we can use. This situation is destined to continue indefinitely. And by indefinitely, I mean not only just the next few years, but as far ahead as we can see. Our connection to the truth of our identity and the true history of this world is in the book. And the people in charge know this. I need that book. I know its power. Well, people would truly understand why they're here. And they have to convince you that science has disproven the book in order to push their agenda. If we want to rule more than one small town, we have to have it. This reality didn't create itself. You are not an animal in a meaningless universe. And fossil fuels aren't 100 billion year old dead dinosaurs.